Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Garcia again. Today we're going to start by looking at this word right here. Try saying it with me. It's gossip. Gossip. Gossip is something that someone says about a person or an event that is not confirmed and may not be true. What does that mean? That means, like you see the boys and girls here talking to each other, they may be saying something to their friend about someone else that they don't know if it's true or not. If you notice, up here some of them are saying, really? Like they're not sure that they believe what they're hearing. He said this, she said that. Are you sure? One of them asks. Why? Wow, someone else says because the things that they're hearing may not be completely believable and may not be completely true. And that's why gossip can be hurtful and dangerous. When we gossip about our friends or people that we may not even know, we may be spreading rumors or talking about things that we don't know are true and could be hurting that person's feelings. So it's always best not to gossip. And that leads me to talk about good citizens. Good citizens don't gossip and do other things that they shouldn't do. Are you a good citizen? A good citizen follows the rules, helps others, is kind and respectful, and always chooses to do the right thing. Let's look at what the boys and girls are saying now. I don't think they're gossiping anymore. I can help, he says. Me too. Thanks, she said. I can show you the way. Hi, are you new here? She asks the other girl. Yes. Are these boys and girls being good citizens? Yes, they are. They're being nice to one another. They're being helpful. And they're following the rules. That's what makes a good citizen. Now I'll ask you again. Are you a good citizen? What are some things that you do at home or in your community that make you a good citizen? Do you help your parents at home? Do you follow the rules at school? Do you follow the rules at the park in your neighborhood? If you do, those are all things that make you a good citizen. Today's story is going to be about a little hen who gossips, and she isn't the best of citizens, but I think she learns an important lesson by the end. Before we begin with our story, I'd like to talk about cause and effect with you. Let's look at our anchor chart for this story this week. Haha, <laughs> look at the hen, she's on top of my head. <laughs> so, cause and effect. We can find the cause by asking ourselves why. The cause is the reason that something happened in the story. Some statements in the story might sound like this. Because the sun comes out after the rain. The boy hit the ball. The sun was hot. Now let's see what the effect is on the other side. On this side, we have the effects. And we can find the effect by asking what it was that happened. So what was it? The effect is the result of what happened. So because the sun comes out after the rain, we see a rainbow. The rainbow is the effect. Next we have the boy hit the ball. So because the boy hit the ball, as a result, the window broke. Here we see the broken window because he hit the ball with the bat and it flew through the window. Don't do that at home. The last one says the sun was hot. Therefore, the ice cream melted. Look at the ice cream cone. The ice cream is melting because it is so hot outside. This is the cause, this is the effect. Now, let's read our story and see if we can figure out some of the things that happen in the story and why they happen in the story. Let's get started. The name of our story this week is Hen Hears Gossip. There's that word again. By Megan McDonald, our author who wrote the story. And pictures by Jung Un Kim. 
that is our illustrator. Hen was scratching for bugs in the barnyard by the fence. Psst, psst, psst. Pig whispered something to cow. Gossip! Hen loved gossip. Hen put her ear up to the fence. Psst, psst, psst. Cow whispered something to pig. Hen could not wait to tell her friends. Hen ran to tell duck. Duck! Duck! Sadie the dog has a thorn. What? said duck. Duck ran to tell goose. Goose! Goose! Daisy the cat grew a horn. What? said goose. Goose ran to tell turkey. Turkey! Turkey! The crazy bat raced a storm. What? said turkey. Turkey ran to tell hen. Hen! Hen! You're lazy, fat, and ate all the corn. What? cried hen. I did not eat all the corn. So hen and turkey went to look in the barn. The corn was not eaten. The corn was in the crib. Goose! Goose! said turkey. Why did you say hen was lazy, fat, and ate all the corn? I didn't say that. I said, the crazy bat raised a storm. Hen and turkey and goose looked up at the sky. The sun was shining, not a cloud in sight, or a bat. Duck, duck, said goose. Why did you say the crazy bat raised a storm? I didn't say that. I said, Daisy the cat grew a horn. Hen and turkey, goose and duck, went to look for the cat. Daisy had two pointy ears and two green eyes, but no horn. Hen, hen, said duck. Why did you say Daisy the cat grew a horn? I didn't say that. I said Sadie the dog had a thorn. Hen and turkey, goose and duck, went to look for Sadie. Sadie did not have an itch or a scratch. Sadie was not in the blackberry patch. Sadie was on the porch snoring. Hen ran to find cow. Cow, cow, said hen. Why did you tell pig that Sadie the dog had a thorn? I didn't say that. I said my baby calf was born. A new baby cow? Wow! Hen called to the others. A baby calf was born. A fraidy cat was born, asked duck. A lazy rat was born, asked goose. A lazy yak was born, asked turkey. No, 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 said hen. Not a lady yak, not a lazy rat, not a fraidy cat. A baby calf was born. A baby calf, said the three. Yippee, let's go see. Hen and turkey and goose and duck went to see the new baby. Ah, said goose. Oh, said turkey. Kitchy kitchy coo, said duck. Moo, said hen. And that's the end of our story. So, as you may have noticed, Hen heard something and went and told someone else the wrong information. That animal went and told another animal the wrong information again. And so it went over and over and the wrong information just kept spreading and spreading. And this is the problem with gossip. This is the reason why we have to be careful when we tell stories and make sure that we have all the facts straight. Now, was Hen a good citizen? I don't think so. I'm not so sure. Gossiping isn't something that good citizens do. But you'll get the chance to tell me how you're a good citizen in just a few moments. 
first, let's talk again about cause and effect. So, what was it that happened in the story? Yes, Hen heard gossip and she went and told everyone else. And because she went and told everyone else, wrong information was passed along. That is the main cause and the main effect in this story. But I'm sure if you go back and read it again, you can find a few others. Let's look at our vocabulary from this story. We have the word gossip, which we already talked about. We have the word thorn, which as we see here, we see a rose, we see its stem and its leaves, and we see lots of little pinchy thorns up and down its stem. Here's a close-up of that picture, and you can see that the thorns are very, very pointy. They could actually pinch you and make your finger bleed if you touch them. Lots of other plants have thorns too, not just roses. We also have the word lazy, and lazy means to love to rest and sleep and not want to do much of anything else. The next word is sight. And sight means to be able to see. Patch. Here is a flower patch. If you notice, there are rows and rows of different flowers. Just like in different farms, there are many different patches growing. There might be a blueberry patch, there might be a pumpkin patch. That just means it's an area where they grow that specific thing, whether it's a flower or fruit or a vegetable. We have the word calf. And calf is the right way to say baby cow. Here we have a little baby calf with its mama. Next we have yak. And yak is this animal right here, which has two big horns and lots of fur. They look like big giant bulls or bison, and they live out in the plains. Our last word is barnyard. And barnyard is just the yard in front of the barn, which is where all the animals were running around in the farm. It could be inside of this little fence or outside of the little fence. Now let's take a look at our activity. This is where you'll get a chance to tell me how you are a good citizen. First things first, write your name, write your date, and make sure you write good citizen at the top of your paper. Next, you're going to copy this sentence and fill in the blank. Let's read it together. I am a good citizen when I, when you what, what do you do? When you help your mom carry the groceries, when you help to watch your little brother or little sister, when you pick up your room, when you follow the rules at school, or when you get good grades for your work at school and work hard. When you help someone new at school find their way around. These are all different things that good citizens do. And I know that all of my students do these things. So just pick any one of the things that you do that are right and fill in the blank with that. When you're done filling in the blank, use this space on the bottom in the box to draw a picture showing me what you wrote in your sentence. So if you wrote that you helped a new student at school to find their way around, draw a picture of you and the new student at your school walking in the hallways and helping them to find their class. This is it for our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed the story and I will see you next time. Bye for now.